Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Let me introduce myself My name is Ibnu Malik Ramadan And I'm from class 6i And I'm making this video uh, For my final test assignment To Fulman uh, On seminar course In this video I will explain about uh, My proposal thesis With the title An analysis of students grammatical errors In writing explanatory text uh, in the proposal it's divided into three parts first is chapter 1 chapter 2 until chapter 3 in the chapter 1 there are background of the problems and then identification of, of the problems limitation of the problems formulation of the problems objective of the research and significance of the study and for chapter 2 there are uh, definition of writing and the definition of error and definition of explanatory text and for the last chapter chapter 3 about research methodology is divided into three parts first is there are place and time of research and then research design and then there are uh, research participant and sample Next is uh, research instrument and technique of collecting data and the last is technique of data analysis. Okay, uh, for the first material in the chapter 1 is a background of problems. Since English is not the first language among Indonesia, the students face many problems while getting their foreign language. In most bilingual and cross-cultural studies, Barriers to learning a first language in a career on students difficult in writing the first. And then learning which investigates students' problems in writing argumentative essay. And then uh, problems among the Indonesian EFL are the use of plural forms, articles, verb forms, clauses, passive sentences, and the propositions. Also, students in Indonesia face some difficult related to writing as man mentioned in several studies above. So writing cannot be avoided from every English class at every level of education. Moreover, considering what writing uh, is one of the important skills that must be mastered by students. Okay, for the next material in chapter 1 is identification of the, the problems. So, based on the explanation of the above research background, the writer can determine several conditions that promote the occurrence of the research problem. So, namely as follows, first is student face difficulties in writing due to the, to the linguistic aspect because, the, because of the difference in grammatical structure between Bahasa and English. The second is mother tongue affected students to transfer the meaning differently from their native into the target language. And the third is students face difficulties that they did errors related to the language features of explanatory text. And the last is the average score for writing explanatory text in four classes of the 11th, 11th grade computer and network engineering department was below the standard okay uh, next slide is uh, limitation of the problems as written the previous section above there are several problems related to student mastery of grammar and that need to be studied therefore the author limits the focus of the research to the analysis of students grammatical error in writing and explanatory text to the second grade uh, Budi Warman to vacation high school and in addition the author also limits the topic of the research namely focus on the most common types of error and their possible causes by second year computer and network engineering for next material is formulation of the problem based on the limitation above also to make the study easier to be understood the writer formulates a question to represent the problem of this study as a which type of error 
the most frequently made by second year students computer and network engineering okay next slide is for chapter 2 in, in the chapter 2 is divided into three part first is definition of writing and then the definition of errors and the last is definition of uh, explanatory text <coughs> Okay, uh, I will explain to you one by one. First is definition of writing. The definition of writing are firstly stated by some expert. For example, is according to Rivers, writing in writing is conveying information of expression of original ideas in a consecutive way in the in the new language. And also Brown claimed that writing is a thinking process. So, furthermore, he states the writing can be planned and given with an unlimited number of revisions before it release. And uh, the next material is definition of error. Error is a student's imperfection in learning language, either spoken or written, as a part of conservation and composition so as to accurate definitions uh, and then there are different about error and mistakes if the mistakes is an error that can be still be fixed and doesn't happen again and again for example is a light word in sentences words that have errors can still be correct and there are no repeat mistake anymore but while an error is an error that occur repeatedly so error can be occurred due to lack of knowledge and understanding in the material. And the last material in chapter 2 is definition of explanatory text. An explanatory is written to explain how and why something in the world happens. It, it, it is about actions rather and than about things. So explanation texts play a valuable role in building and storing our knowledge. Technical and scientific writing are often expressed in this form. Okay, for the last chapter, is chapter 3 about research methodology. In the uh, research method methodology is divided into uh, many parts. First is there are place and time of research and then research design, uh, research participant and sample, and then research instrument and technique of collecting data. And the last is technique of data analysis. I will uh, explain to you uh, about research design first. So, uh, <coughs> referring to the research question that have been attached to the first part chapter, the analysis students' uh, errors and their causal factor. This research is using a qualitative design took a case study approach. Selected case studies because uh, the writer wants to investigate the student's mistakes and that caused the um, uh, constructing defined at utterance in writing explanatory text. Okay, uh, for the next material is research participant and sample. In this study, the author involved the second year of 11th grade of department computer and network engineering which is divided into four classes in selecting sample purposive uh, sampling most suitable with quantitative research often uses random sampling qualitative research uses uh, purposive sampling rather than random sampling in the, in, uh, when required uh, respondent the author has considered several things as well first is following select people who are considered information rich and then looking for people who are open about their personal experience and belief and who comfortable tolerating opposing few points from other in the group and who fluent enough to distribute this group uh, to the conversation and the last is ex exclude anyone suspect of being dishonest about his qualification okay next slide and next uh, material is research instrument Two instruments were employed for this research, which are the students' explanatory text and interviews. The two instruments were uh, related to the technique of data analysis 
that is going to be discussed below. The student experimental text were analysis to find out the most uh, frequent type of errors. So next, the interview was employed to get to know the causing factors of the most frequent error uh, that the students made in writing experimental text. And next material is a uh, technique of collecting data. In the uh, technique of collecting data is divided into two parts. First is documentation and semi-structured interview. For documentation, is used for student data collection experimental text. There are several steps uh, that the author did to get the data. First, the author coordinates with the class president via online message about the execution of the test. And then a writer hold an online meeting to give a brief reflection on the explanation text and provide direction about the exam being held. The writer inform uh, that students are asked to write and to write an explanatory text about a natural phenomenon, and that is the process of rain. So, uh, author set the time limit for students to submit their writing in uh, 90 minutes. Finally, the author recites all text in the form of image via email. And next is semi-structure interview. The author conduct an online semi-structure interview that aim to get more information from respondent uh, that could be used as data. This interview was carried uh, carried out after the student's tech analysis had been completed. So before conducting the interview, the writer uh, the writer formulated several questions based on the result of student text analysis. Considering uh, that the interview was semi-structured, then the writer wrote those questions which led to a broader question and refer to the theories that have been discussed in the previous chapter. And the last material in the chapter 3 is technique of data analysis. In the technique of data analysis, analysis is divided into two parts again. First is questionnaire and uh, interview. For questionnaire, the author give question through question sheets from internet forms to students about, about explanation text. Then students are required to answer the question. So from the result of the answer, it will be known the number of students who understand the explanation text and who don't understand. So from here, the author will focus to children on children uh, who don't understand and will be interviewed for maximum result. And uh, for the second technique is interview. The data of interview were uh, utilized uh, to strengthen the explanation of the causing factor the prompt the most frequent error to occur. So here, the writer provides the data uh, in the form of transcript. And then the transcript were processed through coding technique. So error uh, are caused by interlingual transfer, interlingual transfer, context of learning and communication straight to this. So uh, there's four causing factor where the level of category that the writer utilizes uh, in coding process. Lastly, by using the data classification, the writer explains uh, the using factor that prompts student most frequent type of the error to occur.